spot the target, hit the back kick. Turn, spot the target, hit the back kick. All right, my number one problem with Stuart Little's technique is that it violates the basic principles of proper self-defense. Hey guys, Stuart Tomlinson, Warrior Collective. I'm here in Albuquerque at the Ameridote Dojo with the world-renowned Master Ken. Now, Master Ken has uh, invited me down to his dojo in order to help me perfect my technique. So first of all, he wants me to show him my, my turning back kick, my spinning back kick, which for those of you who've been watching for a while will know, I love this technique. Just turn my foot, spot the target, hit the back kick. One more time. Turn, spot the target, hit the back kick. All right, my number one problem with Stuart Little's technique is that it violates the basic principles of proper self-defense in combat. You never ever want to turn your back on your opponent even for a second, okay? So that's my first problem with the turnaround or spinning back kick. Uh, he's British, so he says things a, a little oddly. Uh, a turnaround kick would be, some, we wouldn't even say that in America. Uh, but that's the first problem. Second problem is you're basically serving your groin on a silver platter to your opponent, which I would not recommend, okay? So problem number one, hey, turning my back around, can't see what he's doing. Problem number two, I'm opening up not just my groin, but my anal cavity to be attacked as I am getting ready to kick, okay? Uh, and thirdly, I don't actually want to kick to the chest. There's a lot, of, a lot of padding here, okay? He can take a full power kick to the chest and probably keep going. I want to choose a vital target. So I'm going to do this move completely differently, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my eye on him the entire time. So I see where the opponent is. I'm turning, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be keeping my eye on him during the entire turn. See that? My body's still turning, but I can still see him, okay? Secondly, see how my groin is far away from him? Not in danger in this position, okay? So seeing him facing, Normally I do this very fast. I'm doing it slow for you so you can see what I'm doing, okay? And then turning here, okay? Then I'm not going to kick up into the chest. I'm going to scoop kick up into the groin like so. Then as he falls down, restop that groin. 